Let's begin with an equation in the vertex form without an a value. Notice that the h is a positive 1 and the k is a positive 2. In order to convert to standard form, the first thing that we're going to need to do is deal with the quantity x minus 1 squared. Choose your favorite way of dealing with squaring two binomials. You'll get x squared minus 2x plus 1. Don't forget to bring down the plus 2. Finally, remember to collect your like terms. And you're done. Let's begin with an equation that has an a this time. Like our first example, the first thing you need to do is square the binomial. Leave the two outside. For this particular binomial, we get x squared minus 6x plus 9. Also, don't forget to bring down the constant of a 9. Your second step, now you need to take the a value of 2 and distribute it through the entire trinomial. When you do that, you're going to get y equals 2x squared minus 12x plus 18. Don't forget to bring down the constant of the 9 that we had before. And finally, you need to collect the like terms at the end, which are the 18 and the 9. Your final equation in standard form will be 2x squared minus 12x plus 27. You're now in standard form. For our last example, let's look at one that has an invisible negative 1 out front. We're still going to begin by squaring the binomial. Don't forget the negative 1 outside, though. This one becomes x squared minus 4x plus 4, and of course, bring down the constant of 10. Now we need to distribute that invisible negative 1 through the trinomial. This is the step many students forget. We get y equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 4. And again, don't forget to bring down that constant of a 10. Our last step, as always, is to collect the like terms, which happen to be the negative 4 plus 10. So our final equation in standard form is y equals negative x squared plus 4x plus 6.